Hello guys, and welcome back to another Telltale Game of Thrones episode. Uh, we're going to pick off where we left from last time. So I think... The end of the last one, we got finished in King's Landing with the handmaiden to Marjorie Tyrell, whose name is escaping me. But I think we're going back to Jared. I think that's his name, the guy that's getting sent to the wall. So yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, so we're back with Jared. Uh, on our way to the wall. Right. Some shouting going on. Then I spoke to the horse. Seven elves. Oh, now we need to go find the bloody thing, don't we? Well, it's either that or walk to the wall, I guess. Don't know which one I'd prefer. <laughs> Oh, there's some people. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh, that's Ramsay Bolton. Skins of their enemies as a coat. Oh God. <gasps> oh dear God, no. Oh. I'm not liking not this. My best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. Have I just to keep on peeking out, maybe? All that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. I don't I don't like the way he was looking up there. Say, a naked man holds few secrets. Have I but just to keep on like peeking out constantly? Is that the only thing I can do here? Oh. oh okay. How much further is it? To the So I've not Forrester. I've not caught. I've not been caught. Day, my lord. Two at most. I think he's that? got my horse. Oh no. Oh no, he might have found me. Oh no, 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 no. Do not find me. I am not here. I'm but a fly on the wall. Hear that? I know I heard something. I'm just going to stay still. I feel like that might be the better thing to do. Never mind. Knew it. If I ran, I would have got caught. See, I'm smart. Oh, but they're they're going to House Forest. I forget the name of the castle, but they're going there, aren't they? Oh dear. Oh dearie me. I'm gonna have to go check on that guy over there, aren't I? Oh god, this is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. Mm, I can already see the fact he's been skinned. Oh. Oh, this is. Oh! That was. Bro, ho, ho, ho. Oh god, poor guy. Bones are bad, man. Jesus. Oh, oh no. We're going back here now. Oh, this is not good. I'm the little king guy again. Lord Ethan, yay. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Oh, well, that's good to know. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. 
He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. I might be known as... I don't know. It used to be something that starts with E, doesn't it? But your the eccentric. This responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester oh. traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Ah, he's hoping it's him. Summon the Lord. Oh. Oh, bro, I need to cast judgment on someone. Nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> Lord Ethan. Mister. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed. Ah, suddenly it should carry bumps in my head. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roiland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not <laughs> stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a it has. Defeat. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Let's go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. No, it's not. Never survive the coming winter. Then you admit to the crime in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. <laughs> you cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. That's fair. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord uh, will I can not. I agree with him. You can send him to the war. Really why I send someone else to the wall? I will decide. Send him to the wall. I think I'm gonna send him to the wall. I don't wanna kill him. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. But it's not. Please. You you stole? My lord. My family depends on me. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the night's watch. No! Oh, please, my lord! My family. <laughs> Without me, they'll die. Yeah, I think that's fair. I didn't want to cut off his fingers, but he had to be punished. So I think that was the fair thing to do. Oh, she's not happy. But then again, when's she ever happy? That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. <laughs> you heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. That is true. Someone You're gonna trust. You can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. Yeah, I knew I couldn't choose him. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I oh, so brilliant. Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Oh, I need to do some leg work now. Of the, Sentinel. the badge of office. Tonight hmm. is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. <laughs> Come speak he wants it. when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Alright. So now we need to go talk to 
Mr. Angry Guy and Mr. Send Everyone to the Wall. Why call them that? Because I can't remember their names. <laughs> He's Mr. Nice One to Send Everyone to the Wall, and the guy over in the fighting pit is Mr. Oh, what's. Uh, what's. No, we don't want to talk to the Maester. We want to talk to Duncan. So Duncan's Mr. Nice Guy. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Ah, oh, he's playing the father card. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I'm not sure yet. yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Uh, this is a sort of job interview, mate. How about you just come and talk? I'm at your service, my lord. Ugh. Well, that was about as much use as beating a dead horse. Come on, you dogs! You'll not be fighting here forever! Let's talk to Malcolm. Ethan. Why not? Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. Uh, oh, yeah, it's my Uncle Malcolm. It's not an easy thing to He's do. cool, I think, if I remember right. Mercy. I can't really remember. I need to start playing these consecutively so I can actually remember what happened. I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. Okay, so our brother is missing. That's great. She fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold hmm. her, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. That's that's fair. You know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. Oh, that just sounds wrong. That is your true strength. I just said it wrong, didn't it? My mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. Alright, are you going to talk to my better sentinel? Yeah, there we go. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Okay, I was actually... choice. And I trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. See, that's what I was thinking. We need some... If the Boltons are going to be after us, we need someone like that. We can't just, oh, the Boltons are here, let's send everyone to the wall. We don't, we need someone, a fighter. But then once it's making me think that. Ethan. And then I need to choose something else. Okay. Time to talk to... Oh, she's gonna give me a absolute... Mother told me rowing. Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Oh. I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm concerned crossed. about you. Ah, oh, see? It's gonna pull me up. I saw what you did to that man. Oh, come on, it was even about our cut off his fingers. And I haven't you. I have it changed. Everyone knows what happened. I haven't changed. It was even about our cut off his fingers. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Yeah, again, I'm not exactly getting a choice in this. I mean, I could have just not punished him, but come on, he's a thief. Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. Ah, oh, she's saying Duncan, and now if we go against her, she'll be even more mad. Unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. And again, she makes a fair point. Do I want someone calm and in control? Good advice. Thank you. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's, let's talk Hold to Sir Roland. Swing left. Barry. Wrong. I did no dogs and old swords. A word. Of course, my lord. <laughs> I, I, I really want to pick him though. I have many decisions to make, but I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. 
and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. <laughs> so, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Should I just put a massive curveball on it and make the maester? My, right. my thingy. I think that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Should I talk to the maester? Ah, why not? Banner, right? it? Talk to the maester quickly, then we'll head to the small council meeting. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. Mm. Maybe black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? He may pay him now, but what's to stop him yeah. from coming back again? Lord That's Ethan, a fair point. The dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Not really. Not when you're dealing with Ramsay, goddamn Bolton. So is this where I need to go to the small council meeting, yeah? Oh wait, no, that's just the tower. I get to look over everything, I think. Do I? Yeah. Oh, we got a nice little place, I like it. Too bad it's probably about to be ruined. By the Boltons. Right, let's go name this sentinel. Uh... If this is like a live stream, I would put a little poll. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Hey, let's do it. Hmm. I'm really inclined to say a robber in. But then again, if I do that, I'm... Hmm. We are about to go to war with the Boltons. So... I think we need someone with more... You may sit. ...combat experience. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my Sentinel, I must tell you... Duncan, Royland... This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made mm -hmm. my decision. I think... I think that is the right... Can I make... I was going to just do a big plot twist and give it to my mum. Now let's give it to Roland. You will be my sentinel. God be praised. <laughs> You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Well, you were going to say that anyway. Uh, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming mm -hmm. here to negotiate. We must have to go in here for both. That's bloody suicide. Mm -hmm. 
You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet. That's Potter. true. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Damn right. The Bolton <laughs> sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must Again, take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late mm. for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. I don't want to give an him though. Is that just going to be bad in the long run? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. See, yeah, that's... That is true. I think we should fight. My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to... If we don't put up a strong front against the Boltons, then... It's not going to be worth they it, is it? Willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Even no, that's just going to get more people. And you will that's just going to get more people killed because Ramsay is just. Well, we know everyone who's watched Game of Thrones before knows exactly what Ramsay Bolton is. You, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Mm. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have mm. enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. That's a fair point. Get him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's mm. careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here oh and listen God, to this. Oh, God, I wish they would stop him, man. I can't be bought. You're too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. <laughs> That's right. I'm the lord. Apologies, my son. Back but in your seat. It is settled. We know what we must do. You will meet terrified. Mr. Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter Elmer. what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Hmm. I think we made the right call. I mean, either way, people are gonna die because it's Ramsay Bolton. He's not here my to lord, just be there. But you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. <laughs> he just can't help himself, can't he not? Your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. But there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected mm. you and your sister, and we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy, how he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out mm. half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> of 
Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You but we also need Uncle Man. Come on. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's I don't think I'm going to see anything here. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. So you want to send a sword away to bring a sword back. Can we send someone else? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, mm. let me send Malcolm to Essos. Right. Mm, I want to keep Malcolm there, but we'd, it would bring two skilled swords back and maybe some more people from Essos. Fine. So Malcolm maybe... We'll go to Essos and bring Asher back. Hopefully we can bring other people back as well. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Alright. So we've got Uncle Malcolm going to get Asher. We've named a sentinel. And hopefully things are going well in King's Landing. Which I'm pretty sure we're about to head to. Yes we are. So again, that is where I'm going to leave. I think we've done a lot today. Uh, let me know if I'm making the right calls, because, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, and check out the podcast, which is on Mixcloud. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!